So I got some breaking news for all you folks out there. I don't know if you've seen it on the news today on the good old media site or if you maybe you saw it somewhere on maybe social media. Who knows? Because some things are just kind of kept quiet, if you understand what I'm saying. And I'm talking about this article that came out today from Reuters. It came out today, this morning at 7.05 a.m. And they're talking about the Russian weapons in Ukraine powered by hundreds of Western parts. Now, obviously, you're going to see here in this article, we're going to jump right into it here in just a second, but you're going to see where a, a lot of this stuff has been coming from the United States. A lot of these parts and pieces that go into the Russian military arsenal, the rockets, all this different types of stuff. You're going to have to see it for yourself to believe it. What were we thinking? Where was anybody at to not let this happen? I mean, come on. Obviously, there are major loopholes in the system that need to be closed. So let's jump into this article and you all can see for yourself. Here we go. All right, folks. So here's the article. So you all can see it. Ray from Reuters came out at 7.05 this morning. Russian weapons in Ukraine powered by hundreds of Western parts. Are you kidding me, right? You know, more than 454 made components have been found in Russia. Weapons recovered in Ukraine. Evidence that Moscow acquired critical technology from companies in the United States, Europe, and Asia in the years before the invasion, according to the new report by the World United Service Institute Defense Think Tank. Now, one would have to think that you would not be selling this kind of stuff to Russia or anybody else. Let them get that on their own, make it on their own, whatever they got to do. Somebody wasn't thinking. And once again, everything comes back to money. Whoever has the money can and will buy whatever it is that they need. Right, folks? Since the start of the war five months ago, the Ukraine military has captured or recovered from the battlefield intact or partially damaged Russian weapons. When disassembled, 27 of these weapons and military systems ranging from cruise missiles to air defense systems from Russia were found to rely predominantly on Western components according to the research shared with Reuters. I mean... Why would you even, uh, any company, want to supply, quote, possible, the enemy with technology to enhance their military? One has to ask themselves, what in the hell is going on out here, right? About two-thirds of the components, this section right here, Right there. About two-thirds of the components were manufactured by U.S.-based companies. RUSI found based the weapons recovered from Ukraine. Products manufactured by the U.S.-based analog devices and Texas instruments accounted for nearly a quarter of all the Western components in the weapons. Really? I don't know what's going on, folks, but... What is it? Are these companies going against the United States? Are they? Do they want the United States to be taken down or whatever? Are they? Isn't just like on the board of espionage of some type? I mean, come on, this is just incredible. What is happening? The Russian weapons, right down here. All right, Russian weapons that are critically dependent upon Western electronics have resulted in the deaths of thousands of Ukrainians. Thousands of them. And then up here, it does state that other components came from companies in countries including Japan, South Korea, Britain, Germany, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. 
Really. Unbelievable, folks. I can't believe that this is taking place. In one case, a Russian 9M727 cruise missile, one of the country's most advanced weapons that can maneuver at low altitudes to invade radar and can strike targets hundreds of miles away, contained 31 foreign components. The parts were made by companies that included U.S.-based Texas Instrument Incorporated and Advanced Micro Devices as well as the semiconductors, which is now owned by Infinium, a German company. What were all these different countries thinking? And I'll tell you what they were thinking, folks. It's all about money. It is all truly about money. And they want the money. They don't care who they're selling the products to. They could be selling it through the black market or whatever else. And nobody really knows about this. You would think that if these parts and pieces and everything else are so critical into making these types of cruise missiles and everything else, that they would be so highly, you know, tracked and the whole nine yards, they want to know where they're going, what they're going to be putting into and who's buying them. But obviously that didn't take place. So if you really want to know, this is just probably the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure there's going to be more things that are going to be coming out about this whole different type of situation. All right. You guys can go in and read this whole article here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, it's a great article on what's taking place and everything else. Um, the biggest take back from this is, is the very end. And Russia's military could permanently weaken if Western governments strengthen export controls, manage to shut down the country's <clears throat> procedure networks and prevent sensitive components being manufactured in states that support Russia. It's a simple fact here. Stop them from getting the components that they need for all their different types of missiles and everything else that was found. And basically, you just put a stop to their military until they can be advanced enough to make all these different components themselves. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted to bring you this breaking news that came out this morning and ask you put in the comments below what do you think is going on here and why are these countries doing what they are doing to enhance the Russian military with their capability of making all these destructive weapons because obviously if it wasn't for our companies or the other companies that were listed to throughout this world they probably wouldn't have the arsenal that they have today. So in the meantime, it's just another reason why it's so very important for everybody to be prepped and ready because we don't know who's got our back and who doesn't. So make sure that you are prepped and ready for you and your family in case of God only knows what could happen in the coming days, in the future. We don't know, but we have to be prepared. We have to thrive to survive. So until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.